Thank you. Okay, um, Cesar Sun talking about bare metal recovery. Okay. Hello, uh, the voice is okay. Thank you. Uh, I will talk about uh, bare metal recovery by open source software. And uh, I am Cesar Sun, and we have uh, uh, another partner, just one, uh, come here. Uh, we come from National Center for High Performance Computing. Uh, it's a supercomputer center in Taiwan. This all night today, I will uh, first I will uh, introduce the bare metal recover and uh, the available software, and uh, some uh, comparison with uh, this software. Secondly, I will introduce the Kronzia project. Uh, at last, I will do a, a quick demo demo uh, about the restore uh, system by the open source tool. Of course, I will use the Kronzia Live. Uh, because we are come from Kronzia project, so it may be make us uh, biased. So forgive me, and uh, I will do my best. Bare metal recover typically uh, is a process include a reinstall operation system and uh, applications. If more, uh, it also include the data and the config restoring. Uh, there are two common types available to, to do that. The first one is the block based recover. Uh, just for example, uh, to use the uh, Nina's command DD. And the second one is a fire based recover. Uh, for example, I use a CP and uh, TAR, uh, R sync, is, of course, is a fire based. Uh, it, it depends on your case. Of course, if you choose the right toolkit, it can save a lot of time. Uh, this is a software list I, uh, that we are. Uh, Compare later. Uh, green ones are the open source software, and uh, red one is a proprietary software. Later, I will use a um, uh, few items for uh, these comparisons. Low copy uh, means the sector by sector copy to uh, or for a whole disk or for partitions. Smart copy means uh, to distinguish which partition of a uh, uh, which part of a partition really contain data and only copy less. Live copy uh, is means you can uh, save or restore it when while it's in use. Smart copy for disk is meant to uh, use the smart copy for the whole disk. The first one is the about general information. Uh, by this slide, we can sh uh, it present proprietary software uh, can provide a live copy and a differential backup, but not for all uh, this open source software. And then, smart copy for disk with the uh, firmware, uh, firmware array or fake array uh, is not very uh, well supported in this software, uh, even uh, uh, LVN2 is only support for, uh, for just a part of them. <laughs> then we talk about uh, file system support uh, in different kind of a system. In Linux, uh, some of uh, uh, free software toolkit that can uh, do a, a full support in it, but the proprietary software only uh, provide the uh, extension two, three, uh, even four. And this, another operation systems, FET and uh, NTFS, of course, can be uh, well supported by uh, most of them. Uh, besides, Kronzia can support uh, HFS Plus in Mac and uh, uh, UFS Plus in uh, BSD series. And uh, VNFS are also supposed uh, in VMware vSphere. So, uh, what's going on there? Actually, going on there was be present uh, last LCN 2010 uh, in, in Wellington. Uh, so, I will very quickly uh, about uh, the future of uh, going there. Kronzia is a partition and a disk cloning utility. It's very similar with a, a semantic ghost and a true image. Of course, it's a bare metal recovery tool for a different kind of operation system. Linux, 
Mac and Windows. Uh, for this year, we have uh, two new operation system be added. One is uh, BSD series because we support the UFS Plus file system, and the VMware vSphere uh, use the VNFS uh, in it, and we uh, uh, implement for support it. So uh, the real one is the news for uh, Kongzia future. Of course, you use the GPL and uh, some future will go quickly. The first one is, uh, first news is uh, to support three uh, file systems. ButterFS, UFS, and the VNF, as the slide shows before. And uh, uh, we add a new model to use the Kongzia Live as a client environment in server addition. Uh, actually, in this mode, it will be easy to uh, adapt to different hard weight uh, by by this kind of uh, uh, by this kind of mode. Uh, you can uh, user can uh, user can easy to replace the clone their life addition to uh, to a clone. Clone has an uh, open and flexible architecture. Uh, in this slide, the left one is the flowchart about seven disk. Follow, uh, follow the uh, follow the flowchart. You can see uh, when user doing the uh, saving seven disk, it can decide the uh, image engine and the compressed engines. Even the machine have a multi-core processor. Uh, it can use the uh, parallel compression algorithm, for example, PIGZ, something like that. And uh, the other one, uh, the other one is the flowchart about the uh, restore. So, because it's open, because it's open the project, um, so it's very easy to add a new image image engine and uh, com compressed engines. If the uh, the compressed engines can support the pipeline. To stand out, it will be easy to add. So this uh, sample for the Kongzi image. Uh, actually, he presented by the folder. Uh, it includes a lot of uh, uh, readable text for text file. For example, it records the hardware information, disk partition information, and the swap information. And the sum is a binary file. It includes real data in each partition. Let's took a, take a look for example uh, blue area. It can it, it uh, presents SDA one use the extension four and uh, it use Parkron as a uh, image engines. Then pipe to uh, GZIP complex algorithm. So it will be it, uh, it will be easy to recognize how, what kind of image you 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 met. About uh, Kongzia use in worldwide. Uh, currently. Uh, Kongzia uh, supports several uh, languages to interface, and so uh, it's more than 2.3 million downloads from internet. Kongzia uh, was a part of the month in uh, SourceForge uh, this year, June, June 2010s, and uh, we are so happy to to see a. Uh, a new article in Linux Journal this month, and uh, the cover title is uh, the Kongzia Live High Performance Open Source Computing uh, Cloning. And we have some new uh, use cases in enterprise. Nagapen is from uh, VMware. Uh, as we know, VMware provides a virtual machine product, so you have to do uh, what you have to do is to deploy a lot of different uh, operation system to his production run. So uh, he used the clone their life to uh, deploy the different operations. Finally, he built an uh, automatic uh, implement system, uh, service to build a different kind of uh, operation system. Uh, can Zhou is from uh, Canonical Taiwan, and uh, he used the clone their life to do a system backup and recover ISO. Because this event uh, has been presented last year, so I will go quickly. This one is the sense. And uh, this, uh, we have several education use case in uh, 
Taiwan. Actually, uh, in fact, the education used in Taiwan is very important uh, for DRBL and the Kronzia de development. Uh, in this case, uh, Kronzia Life be inserted into an individual partition of the local hard drive, and the student can uh, restore the original system when it's, uh, when its machine is cra uh, cra uh, crashed or messed up. There's some photograph of, it, of land. Uh, of course, it, uh, some teacher will, uh, uh, some teacher use the clone their server addition to clone a uh, USB flash drive. Of course, there are many limitations of, of uh, clone their. For example, the first three uh, was be present in the slides before, and the uh, most common issues is the dis Destination partition uh, have two and must be, uh, have two equal or larger than uh, the source one. The second one is uh, the recover clone life with the multiple CD or DVDs is not implemented yet. This means uh, you have to uh, store the, the separate image of the same image. Uh, so I, I have to say, the separate file of the same image into the into the uh, one storage, and uh, the clone that can deal with it. Of course, we have some future work. Uh, if you have any comment or suggestion, please uh, let, let us know. Uh, I will do a very quick about clone live demos. This, uh, this is a scenario. Uh, it's a run, running a Ubuntu 10.10 10 and uh, I will destroy by this commands and uh, I will recover it from uh, by using from their life. Uh, so this one it mentioned it, it, it present it used the uh, extension 4 and the button FS in SDA3 and SDA1. So I use the DD command to destroy them. First, I will destroy the MBR partition, MBR part, and uh, destroy the first uh, SDA one partition for boot. Secondly, I will destroy the root file system SDA three. Yeah. So if I reboot this virtual machine, it should be uh, crash. Crash. So, it's no bootable uh, be found. So, it's uh, so let's uh, do a uh, uh, recover from Kongzia uh, Live. I w first I will uh, uh, hook up the Kongzia Live ISO. I use the default option. Actually, uh, there are few functions uh, in the Kronzia ISO. For example, you can do the memory test uh, or uh, pixels. The G we provide the GPix. Uh, actually, Kronzia Live is based on Debian, uh, based on Debian. So it's just uh, the Debian Linux, and we have another uh, version to. Uh, Use the Ubuntu base. So first, the first one you ask uh, the uh, query the language. I use the English as default. No change keyboard uh, keyboard map. And I start from there. And I will do a uh, recover. So I choose the device image because I will uh, recover it from a uh, image I set before. The image, the clone that image can uh, be be stored in a local drive and a, a remote drive, or even a network file system. So I use the SSH, SSHFS. First of all, first of all, I have to use a DHCP to configure the network and uh, use the host the IP. And this one, this. Uh, this one machine is a uh, host machine IPs and the standard SSH port. 
use the available account pass. So we can see uh, SSHFS be mounted in the local pass in home part image. I choose beginner. Uh, of course, you are if you are similar or familiar with uh, Kongzia, you can choose the uh, expert mode. I will do a recover or uh, restore disk, and it will easy to uh, use the Kongzia to make a recover CD. You can choose the first one, the first one, but I use the uh, restore disk. So. I have a three uh, image in my repository. I choose the middle one, the second one. It detects you have uh, one hard drive in the machines and uh, enter. It will ask, to, uh, ask twice to confirm. First of all, it will uh, recover the partition tables. Then uh, it will recover the uh, partition one by one. For example, it uh, do the SDA one recover. Then do the, OK. Because the it's very small, so. Then uh, we recover SDA three. Uh, SDA three, as the information shows, Use the button FS and uh, not too large because I only just for a demo purpose. So only uh, no more, no less than one gigabyte to use. And then you can see the uh, the performance because it's in virtual machine. So just only 700 megabyte per minute. Uh, if you, in real case, it depends on your network environment and your hardware. Uh, in general case, we uh, in general case, it's the speed almost uh, uh, two gigabytes around, roughly two gigabytes per minute. Oh, I have another console. Oh, okay. I can show you what kind of, uh, uh, you can see you use a part clone dot bit part FS to, uh, to do the uh, image and they use the pipe pi gz, pi gz uh, is a parallel gz to uh, compress. So, and it's done and then we are uh, uh, some post run for example, you will uh, uh, create the swap partitions and uh, detect the uh, Grab, grab two and reinstall a grab two, and uh, if you install a larger a larger partition, it will be resize the file system if necessary. So let's done and reboot it to check. The system is back, and it's, so it's quite uh, easy to uh, to restore a, a image from the, the the file you set before. Let me check. Let us check the power of the file system. So it's done, and. Uh, uh, we have a pilot post on open desk. If you are interested in about interested in with uh, our project, please come us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Next up is a presentation on tuning your PostgreSQL server.